In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a 2D mesh of an elbow and convert it into a 3D mesh using Gmesh software. Additionally, we will define boundary layers at the end of the process. First, we will create the geometry, and then we will proceed with the meshing activity. Let's begin. Open Gmesh. Turn on points, curves, and surfaces visibility and their labels. Let's create a circle. Define 0, 0, 0 coordinates as circle center and 100 units as radius. Click on Add button. Set Normal Z. You can see one circle and one point are added. Let's define additional points. Please follow steps. Point two. The next step is to define lines joining these points. Please ensure that all starting and ending points are in the same order. The starting point should be on the inner side, and the ending point of the line should be on the circle. Repeat the same process. Let's create a square by joining the inner four points. Click on the Coherence option. You can see that the circle is divided into four parts. Here, you can see that two points are at the same location, so let's delete one of the points. Press the E key to end the selection process and the Q key to abort it. Reload script and check. Save and exit script. The next step is to create a surface by joining the closed loop. Select the surface boundary. Press the E key to end the selection process and the Q key to abort it. First surface is created. Do the same for other closed loops. Plane 2.
Plane 3. Plane 4. Let's check the intermediate mesh. Create 2D mesh. You can see that the mesh is not created in a square shape because we have not yet converted it into a surface by joining the closed curves. Let's define a surface for the square. Surface is now created. The next step is to define the number of points, which corresponds to the number of divisions of the curves. Select the curves and define the number of points. You can add the remaining curves into the script as well. Let's modify the script to include the additional curves. Let's observe carefully and ensure all curves are added to the script correctly. Please save the current script and exit. The next step is to convert all surfaces into mapped surfaces. Define all surfaces. Please save the current script and exit. Next, we will change the 2D mesh settings to convert triangular elements to quadrilateral elements. Save these settings. Initial mesh. Now, reload script and update mesh. You can see that high quality hexahedral elements are now generated. The next step is to rotate this 2D mesh to convert it into a 3D mesh representing an elbow. The rotation point will be on the x-axis, and the rotation will be about the y-axis. Define rotation point. Define rotation angle. Turn on the extrude mesh and recombine options, and also define the mesh layers. Select Surfaces. Press the E key to end the selection process and the Q key to abort it. You can now see the wireframe model of the 45 degree elbow. Generate Mesh. You can see that we now have high-quality 3D hexahedral elements. Let's edit the script and update the mesh accordingly. Change elbow angle. Increase number of points. Save and exit.
Now it's a 90 degree elbow. Turn off geometry visibility. You can change mesh color. Next, define the bias factor to generate boundary layers. It will either be higher than 1 or lower than 1 based on the positions of our line start and end points. In our case, it seems that it will be lower than 1. Let's change progression value and regenerate mesh. You can see there is a high number of elements near the elbow boundary. This is very helpful for achieving proper shear behavior, especially in the case of fluid flow. Define more number of edge divisions. Regenerate mesh. Thank you. Please share, like, and comment. If you have any more questions or need further assistance in the future, feel free to reach out.